different experience with this. The passengers have. All right, so we just experienced our flight with Delta from Kansas City to Minneapolis, and here we are with a couple of Delta representatives, Ben and Jeff. I appreciate your time today. So we just got to see some electromagnetic spraying. Did I say that right? <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about that. Can you explain the process we just saw? Sure. So uh, every flight now, every flight now that comes in and out of Minneapolis, and really anywhere you fly on Delta, uh, in the old days the plane would come in, we'd do a quick clean up uh, kind of like your your mother-in-law is coming over and you put the sweater away and that type of thing and, and now it's much more robust than that where we are electrostatically spraying every single airplane and really giving them a scrub uh, throughout the day that would historically happen on the overnights um, but now we're doing it every single turn so middle of the day anytime the plane comes into uh, a ground operations base uh, uh, anywhere in the in the country we're doing that type of work so I noticed when they were doing that, they brought the tray tables down. They obviously, uh, the, the plane is empty and they went through the entire plane and, and, and took care of the whole process. So that was pretty cool. Yep, the process starts with the, with the tray tables being pulled down, the sh shades being lowered halfway and all the bins being open. And then the fogger starts in the back of the airplane. And like you said, it's an electrostatic spray, which holds a charge, which attracts it to any surface. So it'll immediately go to any surface. And the disinfect it, disinfectant that we use is a matrix product, which is a common hospital disinfectant. So we, we spray the matrix into the air and then it gets electro electrostatically charged and then it uh, settles onto the surface and so once the fogger is done or the electrostatic spring is done, then the cleaning team comes behind and wipes down all the surfaces all the way from the bins overhead all the way to every seat, the screen, and things like that. So, so we do the electrostatic spring and then we follow that up with a complete wipe down of the cabin. And to Ben's point, uh, every airplane, every flight in and out of Minneapolis and Delta system-wide is getting that treatment. Yeah, that's amazing, and uh, it was it was great to see. It was it was cool, but uh, a little bit on our in-flight experience, right? So, before we went, uh, you all gave us a kit that had a Delta mask in there, and had a, a little informational letter from you all, and a couple of Purells were in there that one-time uses. That was awesome. And then we get on the plane. I wasn't expecting this at all. It was well, first before we get on the plane, social distancing the whole way there. Yep. But then when we got on the plane, uh, we got amenities throughout the flight. So talk a little bit about that maybe. Yeah, so the amenities now are much different than what they used to be in the past. Uh, everything is prepackaged. Um, we also visited the club earlier today and, and the food there is all prepackaged. Um, it's, you know, basically eliminate the number of touches that uh, we can possibly do in, in your journey. So that's the main goal. One thing I did notice is that the flight attendants came through numerous times taking trash and, and just the service level was just outstanding coming through the, the plane. You know, one other uh, thing that we, we want to talk about is the social distancing on the flight itself. Mm -hmm. So as Joe and I were making our reservations when we were looking to make those, it looked like the plane was full. Well, then we get on the plane, and obviously it's not. So tell us a little bit about that process. Yeah, Brent, uh, Delta's held its cap for, for revenue travel at 60%. So we are not selling any of the center seats. And then it's capped at 50% for first class. So we so we treat everything uh, over 60% as an oversale situation, and we go through the same volunteer process. So we're not to depart with a load factor over 60% in the back or 50% in first class. I will tell you, it made, it made me feel very comfortable, very safe, very comfortable, um, and it really it was a pretty nice experience. <laughs> it was, because <laughs> no you had nobody I, next to you. And, I didn't have this big guy sitting next to me. Snoring. <laughs> yeah. No, um, that was nice. And uh, also, can you talk a little bit about the boarding process? I saw that was a little different on and off the plane. So you may remember historically we boarded by zone, which had a lot to do with, uh, you know, what kind of fare you paid right. and, and that type of thing. Sure. But we've gone to uh, rear the aircraft forward. Um, that's really historic. Um, but uh, that eliminates uh, people crossing paths on the airplane as much as possible. Uh, the gate agents are trained to spread that out. Uh, so there's not a backup on the jetway. And, um, of course, when you start the boarding process, we uh, ask that you have your mask on, not just, not just with you, but on. 
Yeah, I did see on the aircraft, everyone kept their mask on the entire time, uh, unless they were taking a sip of water or enjoying the, the cookies. Yeah, one, thing, uh, one more thing on the social distancing. We're standing uh, in the lobby here in Minneapolis. This is a, in a section that is going to open up tomorrow. And uh, if you pan around, you see some brand new uh, social distancing uh, spots for our queues. Um, this is the normal across the country as we try to um, suggest to people that give each other distance six feet. Well, our experience today has just been yeah. phenomenal. It just feels so safe, so secure, so professional. And uh, certainly kudos to Delta Airlines. You guys have done a tremendous job. And uh, I certainly feel a lot better having traveled today. And uh, I think everybody else will, too.